And of course, Texas is so unique anyway, due to the fact that we were a nation unto ourselves and in one of the points that you're talking about. And that sovereign granted out lands as a nation. And I mean, we had world recognition, all the things that make a nation. We, we as Texans had that. And we're just terribly proud of that too, aren't we? <laughs> and, Still are today. And what are some of the what are some of the things that come off the top of your head that that created land grants? We know that fighting in the Alamo, for example, uh, if you if you participated or you had descendants that fought in the the Battle of the Alamo, there were land grants for that. What are some of the other situations that you recall? Well, uh, of course, the first things that were granted out were the headright grants uh, to people that, uh, you know, were here in Texas bringing their families, going to headright, being the head of that family. So they received quantities of land for that. Earlier, the Spanish mostly gave the vast amounts of land and in even Mexico some vast quantities. We're talking uh, about thousands of acres when you say vast. We're oh, talking yeah. About leagues and labor. Yes, yes. A league being over 4,000 acres. And 11 leagues they would give wow. for, for, their, for favored citizens. And they may not have ever lived on them, you know. Wow. But, but once you start coming to the head rights, they still didn't have to live on them, but that was the concept. These people were in Texas and they, they were establishing and they were given that land in order to to uh, have their families there, their league and labor of land, that sort of thing. And you're right, Texas had no money, so we were using our lands in order for Texas not to be a, a wilderness, but to, to establish it and have families. Uh, the bounties were for military pay. Texas had no money, so when they fought in the revolution, they had to be paid, and, and for so many months of service, they got such an amount of acreage. And the donation was for specific battles, like at Goliad and, and San Jacinto, the Alamo, those specific battles. Then there were preemption grants, and those were, were given out over a, a long period of time, and they're basically homestead-type grants. Now, those were conditional things. They came with the conditions, small amounts of money that had to be paid, which probably was big for those folks. Uh, they, some of them were required to cultivate a certain amount of acreage. They were required to perform duties as a citizen, and they had to have people in the area swear that they had done this stuff. And coming back to the point of we want people here established operating as Texans here. So that, that was the purpose of that. Scrip was put out uh, to defray the debt that the Republic had. And also uh, Scrip was given out for a lot of things as far as building infrastructure, not uh, lots and lots for railroads, but also for even things like uh, dredging canals, levees, building roads. If you brought in equipment such as cotton gins, anything industrial that you brought in in order to set up, you had the opportunity to be given land grants for having done that. So uh, trying to build a civilized area was, was the whole point of all that, with no the money. And land was, was our resource to, to bring in, like even the railroad. The railroads were granted land as they built each mile of railroad. They were, of course, they had to survey it, but they were allowed to build railroads across our state. Right, Another. yes. Yes, for every mile of railroad that was built and put into use, they acquired 16 sections of land. And you're right, they had to survey it and were required at the same time to survey an additional 16 sections and lay it out in a grid where the state got half and the railroad got half. And that, of course, is when you look at West Texas, that's as close as we look to the public land system that you were mentioning earlier. Right. Now, our rules of reconstruction still apply. We do not go with the public land system rules of reconstruction, even in our railroad sections. But that's where we look a little more sectionalized. Right.